Welcome to Learn Now. This video is about revision for session ending examinations 2021-2022 EVS class 5. So let us start. The first question is model of the earth is called as dash. Here are the options. Let's find out the correct answer from these. So option first globe then continent map and ocean so is it map no map is wrong is it continent then continent is also wrong is ocean the correct answer ocean is also wrong that means the correct answer is globe so we all know that the model of earth is called as a globe as you can see in the picture also it is a globe all right we'll move on to the next question question number two question is a special type of vehicle used for going into space is known as here are the options a spaceship rocket astronaut or a satellite let's find out the correct answer is it a rocket rocket is wrong is it astronaut then astronaut is also wrong satellite satellite is wrong so a special type of vehicle used for going into space is known as spaceship and as you can see in the picture there is one spaceship all right we'll go to the next question question number three identify the person shown in the picture so we have to identify who is this person in the picture here are the options sunita williams hima das kalpana chawla or sanya mirza so is it kalpana chawla kalpana chawla is wrong so is it sanya mirza sanya mirza is also wrong Himadas is also wrong. So the correct answer is Sunita Williams. And on her name, we have a chapter that is Sunita in space. So Sunita Williams, you can see in the picture, she is Sunita Williams. All right, let's go to the next question. Question number four. And the question is, who was Kalpana Chawla? So we have to tell who was Kalpana Chawla. Was she a cricketer? Cricketer is wrong. Was she a boxer then? Boxer is also wrong. So was she a journalist? Journalist was also wrong. So the correct answer is astronaut. So we all know Kalpana Chawla was an astronaut. As you can see Kalpana Chawla in the picture here. Next question, question number five. So the question is, who was the first person, person in the world to go in space? So we have to tell who was the first person to go in space. So let's find out the correct answer. So as we know, we have a chapter on Sunita Williams. So was Sunita Williams the first one to go to space? Let's find out. Oh no, Sunita Williams is wrong. So we'll go to Kalpana Chawla. Kalpana Chawla is also wrong. So was it Rakesh Sharma? Rakesh Sharma is also wrong. So that means we are left with only one option. That means Yuri Gagarin was the first person who went into the space. Right? So you can see his photo here you can see his picture so he is Yuri Gagarin the first person to go in space next question question number six who was the first Indian to go to space let's see so we just talked about who was the first person in the world to go to space 
let's find out who was the first indian to go to space so here are the options so was it kalpana chawla kalpana chawla is wrong was it yuri gagarin yuri gagarin is also wrong so was it sunita williams then sunita williams is also wrong so we are left with one option rakesh sharma so rakesh sharma was the first indian to go to space here you can see his picture he is mr rakesh sharma who was the first indian to go to space all right we'll go to the next question question number 7 so question number 7 is which of the following is a fossil fuel let's see the options then to find out which of the following is a fossil fuel wind let's find out the correct answer is wind a fossil fuel wind is not a fossil fuel biomass biomass is also not a fossil fuel solar solar is the energy of the sun it is also not a fossil fuel so coal is the correct answer that means coal is a fossil fuel next question question number 8 the question is which among the followings is not a form of petroleum let's see what are the options upple diesel petrol or lpg so we have to tell which of the following is not a form of petroleum so we all know diesel lpg and petrol all three of them are the products that we get from petroleum so uple will be the correct answer so how uple look they are cow dung cakes as you can see in your picture right we'll go to the next question question number 9 the question is where is adalaj step well located so we talked about this in the chapter in our evs book let's find out what are the options new delhi is wrong ladakh is also wrong so uh, was it mumbai mumbai is also wrong so we are left with one option so ahmedabad is the correct answer adalaj step well is located in ahmedabad you can see in the picture also so going further we'll go to the next question question number 10 so the question is petroleum is formed from remains of dash deep under the earth is it dead sea animals is it inside water is it dead plants or is it in car or bus all right let's find out the correct answer so is petroleum formed from dead remains of dead plants plants is wrong is it inside water inside water is also wrong is it formed in car and bus car bus is also wrong so we all know petroleum is formed from remains of dead sea animals deep under the earth right here you can see this is a diagrammatic representation of dead sea animals in the sea and after they die layers of sand and soil deposit over their bodies and over millions of years under the effect of very high temperature and pressure these remains of dead sea animals it converts into petroleum a very dark thick bad smelling liquid which is called as petroleum all right this was about petroleum formation we will go to the next question name the force by which earth pulls everything towards itself options are density specific gravity gravitational force or power so let's see let's find out the correct answer let's 
check power is wrong so is it specific gravity it is also wrong is it density then density is also wrong so the correct answer is gravitational force and as we all know the gravitational force of attraction it pulls everything towards itself so the gravitational force of earth pulls everything towards itself next question question number 12 question is which of the following festivals are related to the moon let's find out so is it eid or karwa chauth or both of them or none of these let's find out so whether karwa chauth only is a festival related to the moon no it's wrong is eid only the festival related to moon it is also wrong so are the both of them related to the moon yes both of them eid and karwa chauth they both are related to the moon so there are two festivals related to the moon all right next question question number 13 the blue part on the globe represents what let's see what are the options water that is oceans water continents land continents or deserts let's find out let's check out the correct answer so whether it is oceans water water continents or land continents we have a deserts so let's check water continents is wrong land continents is also wrong so is it deserts is it desert then desert is also wrong so water oceans is correct right so the blue part on the globe so shows us the oceans or the water present on earth let's go to the next question question number 14 the question is which is the largest continent so let's find out the answer is it north america north america is wrong africa africa is also wrong australia australia is also wrong so here we have the largest planet or largest continent that is asia so asia will be the correct answer next question question number 15 the question is which continent has the maximum number of countries so we have to tell which continent is having maximum number of countries is it south america south america is wrong north america is also wrong so is it asia then the largest continent no it is also wrong so africa is the continent which has maximum number of countries so you can see this map of africa it has many countries around 54 countries are there the next question question number 16 india lies in which continent so we have the options asia south america north america or none of these so let's find out the correct answer is it south america south america is wrong north america is also wrong so india lies in asia continent and as we all know asia is the largest continent and india is a part of this continent we'll go to the next question question number 17 which is the largest planet in the solar system here are the options earth mercury jupiter or venus let's find out the correct answer is it earth our very own earth is not the largest planet of the solar system mercury is also wrong so is it venus then venus is wrong so that means jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system next question question number 18 which planet is 
closest to the sun here are the options venus earth mercury or moon let's find out the correct answer is venus the closest planet to the sun no it is not is it earth earth is wrong so is it mercury yes mercury is the correct answer so the closest planet to the sun is mercury we'll go to the next question question number 19 which is the natural satellite of earth so we have to tell which is the natural satellite of earth here are the options and now coming to the options we all know that jupiter is a planet so it cannot be a satellite jupiter is obviously wrong is it earth then earth again is a planet so it will not be a satellite sun as we all know is a big star so sun is wrong too so that means moon is the correct answer that is moon is the natural satellite of earth going to the next question so you can see moon it is the natural satellite of earth we'll go to the next question question number 20 the different shapes of the moon are called dash here are the options shapes of the moon phases of the moon colors of the moon or none of these let's find out the correct answer so the different shapes of moon are they called as shapes of the moon no it is wrong are they called as colors of the moon then no it is also wrong so phases of the moon is the correct answer so there are different phases of the moon as you all can see in the picture also so the different shapes or the part of the moon that is visible from earth according to that we say which phase it is right so the different shapes of the moon are called as phases of the moon next question question number 21 which phase of the moon is shown in the picture let's see the options we have waxing gibbous then waning gibbous then waxing crescent and none of these as options so let's find out which is the phase so shown in the picture so as we all can see is it waning gibbous waning gibbous is wrong waxing crescent is also wrong that means it is waxing gibbous so this is the phase of the moon shown in the picture going to the next question question number 22 the full form of lpg is the options are liquefied petroleum gas liquefied petrol gas liquid petrol gas or liquid natural gas so is it liquid petrol gas no it is wrong is it liquid natural gas no liquid natural gas is also not the full form of lpg then is it liquefied petrol gas it is also wrong so we are left with one option that is liquefied petroleum gas which is the correct answer so you all have to remember that it is not liquid petroleum gas or liquefied petrol gas it is liquefied petroleum gas so it is the correct answer question number 23 which of the following causes less pollution so we have to tell the option which causes less pollution so is it petrol petrol is wrong is it diesel diesel is also wrong so it can be coal that coal is also wrong so that means cng and we all know the full form of cng compressed natural gas remember this so full form of cng is compressed natural gas and it is least pollutant right so it causes less pollution than petrol so it is used as a fuel in vehicles next question question number 24 resources that are not reproduced as quickly as they are used are called dash let's see the examples renewable resources 
replaceable resources, non-renewable resources or non-replaceable resources. So is it renewable resources? No, it is wrong. Is it replaceable resources? It is also wrong. So non-renewable resources will be the correct answer. So resources that cannot be produced or reproduced quickly, they are called as non-renewable. That means they are not, we will not be able to renew them, them quickly. So they are called as non-renewable resources. Here are some of the examples as we all know fossil fuels it takes a long time millions of years natural gas another component of petroleum and then we talk about coal it also takes millions of years and nuclear energy it also is a non-renewable source of energy. Next question question number 25 which of the followings we get from petroleum? There are the options petrol, diesel, LPG or all of the above. So let's find out the correct answer. Is it only petrol and diesel? So do we say that petrol and diesel, petrol alone, diesel alone, they both are wrong. So we have to say we get petrol, diesel and LPG all of the above from petroleum. Let's move to the next question. Question number 26. The question is the fuels that we get from dead remains of plants or animals are called. Let's see what these fuels are called as. Here are the options. Options are fossil fuels, diesel, petrol or fossils. Let's find out the correct answer. As we all know the dead remains of plants and animals are called as fossils but it is not the correct answer so is it diesel diesel is also wrong so what about petrol petrol is also the wrong answer the correct answer will be fossil fuels so the fuels that we obtain or the fuels that we get from dead remains of plants or animals are called as fossil fuels next question Next question, question number 27, Changpa is a, the options are hill station, jungle, desert or a tribe. So is Changpa a hill station? No, it is wrong. Is it a desert? Desert is also wrong. So is it the name of a jungle? Jungle, jungle is also wrong. That means Changpa is a tribe. And as we all know in the chapter, a shelter so high we talked about Changpas that it is a tribe. So let's go to the next question. Question number 28. The world famous Pashmina shawl is woven in. So we have to tell in which state or in which place we have this Pashmina shawl. So the options are Mumbai, Manali, Jammu and Kashmir and Maharashtra are the four options. So we'll go for Manali. Manali is wrong. Is it Mumbai? Mumbai is also wrong. So what about Maharashtra? Maharashtra is also wrong. So it is Jammu and Kashmir. So we all know that Pashmina shawl is a very famous or world famous shawl from Jammu and Kashmir state. Next question. So you can see this Pashmina shawl in the picture. Next question. Question number 29. A place very cold, high, dry and with very less vegetation is called dash. The options are desert, a hill station, cold desert or a village. So is it a desert? No. Is it a hill station? No, it is also wrong. So, is it a cool desert then? Yes, cold desert is the correct answer. So, remember a place which is very high, uh, cold and dry. And that place might be having very less vegetation or no vegetation. So, such a place will be called 
as a cold desert. So you can see in the picture, it is the picture of Leh, which is a cold desert. Next question, question number 30. Dash are the only treasure of the Changpas. So you have to tell, we have to tell that uh, which, what is the thing that is called as the only treasure of the Champas. Here are the options, coats, shawls, forests or wool. So as we all know, we have studied in the chapter that coats are the only treasure of the Champas. Let's go to the next question. Before that, you can see the a Champa with his goats. Next question, question number 31. A place very, where very less people live is called. So, in the language of the Champas, a place where very less people live is called as what? Let's see. Here are the options. So, Champa, Earth, Rebo or Changtang. So let's find out. So Changpa is the name of a tribe. So tribe. So it is the wrong answer. Earth is also wrong. So is it Rebo? Rebo is also wrong. So a place where very less people live is called as Changthang in the language of the Changpas. So Changthang is the correct answer. We go to the next question, question number 32. Beautiful carvings on the ceilings of houses and houseboats in Kashmir is called. So you have to tell what is this beautiful carving on the ceilings of houses and houseboats that is generally seen in Kashmir is called. The options are Donga, Khatamband, Dab or Shikara. So let's see, let's find out the correct answer. Is it Donga? No, Donga is wrong. Is it Dab? Dab is also wrong. So is it Khatamband? Yes, Khatamband is the correct answer. So this beautiful carvings that can be seen on the ceilings and uh, ceilings of houses and houseboats is called as Khatamband. Next question. 33. The question is on which date there was an earthquake in Gujarat? So we have to tell the date on which there was an earthquake in Gujarat. So is it 26th? Was it uh, 26th January 1950? No, it is the wrong answer. Was it 26th January 2020 then? No, it is also wrong. So was it 26 January 1947 it is also wrong so that means we are left with one option that is 26 January 2001 is the correct answer so in the chapter when the earth shook we talked about a, a natural disaster that is an earthquake in Gujarat on 26 January 2001 Going to the next question, we move to the next question number 34. The instrument used by doctors to listen the heartbeats is called. So we have to tell the name of the instrument. So is it a microscope or a telescope, a stethoscope or an earphone? So a microscope is wrong, a telescope is also wrong. So is it a stethoscope? Yes, a stethoscope is an instrument used by doctors to listen to heartbeats. Right? So, stethoscope will be the correct answer. Question number 35. When there is no rain for a long time and there is shortage of water everywhere, so what is that condition called as? We have to tell. So here are the options. The options are earthquake, tsunami, flood or drought. Let's find out the correct answer. So we all know 
in earthquake there is a shaking of the earth so that cannot be shortage of water so earthquake is wrong and again flood in flood we know there is a lot of water there is water everywhere so flood is also wrong and again in tsunami tsunami there will be a lot of water or the sea waves coming to the land so that means tsunami is also wrong so we are left with drought so drought is the condition when there is very less water available or no water available so this happens because of prolonged uh, period of a rain gap if there is no rain for a long time that means there will be very less water available and with time that water also gets consumed so there will be very less water or no water at all so that condition will be called as drought so this condition might look like this as you can see in the picture going to the next question question number 36 question is an accident caused by nature is called here are the options man made disaster natural disaster a disease or natural resource so you have to tell which of the following which of these options is the correct answer so is it a man made disaster no it is wrong is it called as a disease disease is also wrong so is it natural disaster yes so remember this a natural disaster is a disaster that is caused by nature so there is no involvement in occurrence of natural disaster so there is no involvement of humans so it is because of nature only so as you can see in the picture there are two natural disasters sh shown here one is cyclone and the other one is you can say tsunami or flood right so these are some of the examples of natural disasters so the disasters that are caused by nature the accidents that are caused by nature are called as natural disasters question number 37 a disaster or accident caused by human activities is called as uh, here are the options as natural disaster drought man made disaster or flood so we all know that natural disasters are not caused by human activities so it will not be the correct answer it is the wrong answer so drought again we know in drought there is a shortage of water so it cannot be the correct answer so we are talking about human activities so the disasters or accidents caused by human activities are called as man made disasters so man made disaster will be the correct answer here are the examples of some of these uh, man made disasters next question number 38 which of the following instruments are played by using our breath so we have the options we have the options flute bean both of these or none of these so as we all know we use our breath to play flute at the same time we use our breath to play bean as well so both flute and bean both of these will be the correct answer so we use our breath to play flute and bean both so both of these will be the correct answer next question question number 39 at high altitudes level of dash in the air becomes less so we have to tell at high altitudes level of what becomes less in the air so less let's see the options is it carbon nitrogen hot air or oxygen so carbon is wrong nitrogen is also wrong hot air hot air is also wrong so we are left with oxygen so that means at high altitudes level of oxygen in the air becomes less so oxygen will be the correct 
answer so as the height increases as we move on to higher places the level of oxygen decreases next question question number 40 kach is in the state of the options are jammu and kashmir gujarat maharashtra or uttarakhand so let's find out the correct answer is it jammu and kashmir no it is wrong is it maharashtra then maharashtra is also wrong so let's go to gujarat so gujarat is the correct answer so kach is in the state of gujarat as you can see on the map of india there is gujarat and in gujarat you can see kach as well next question question number 41 question is gandhi ji fought against let's see what are the options gandhi ji fought against dash the options are indians americans untouchability or power so we have to tell against who gandhi ji fought so gandhi ji fought against indians no that is not the correct answer so it was gandhi ji fighting against americans no it is not correct so gandhi ji was he fought against untouchability so gandhi ji fought against untouchability so untouchability will be the correct answer next question question number 42 the sabarmati ashram is in so let's find out where is sabarmati ashram so the options are ahmedabad mumbai kutch or dhuj so is it in kutch no is it in mumbai then no mumbai is also wrong so is it in dhuj dhuj is also wrong we are left with ahmedabad so ahmedabad is the correct answer gandhi ji sabarmati ashram is in ahmedabad next question question number 43 the indian constitution was prepared under the leadership of dash so we have to tell under whose leadership this indian constitution was prepared the options are mahatma gandhi jyotiba phule dr b r ambedkar or none none of these let's check the correct answer let's find out the correct answer mahatma gandhi is wrong jyotiba phule is also wrong so is it b r ambedkar or none of these so let's go to b r ambedkar so b r ambedkar is the correct answer so we all know that dr bhim rao ambedkar he is called as father of indian constitution so under his leadership the constitution of india was prepared question number 44 which are the two new union territories in india the options are jammu and kashmir to ladakh or both of them or none of these so we have to tell which are the two new union territories in india so let's find out the correct answer is it jammu and kashmir no jammu and kashmir alone is wrong then ladakh alone is also wrong but when we talk about both of them that is jammu and kashmir and ladakh they are the two new union territories in india so jammu and kashmir and ladakh they both are the two new union territories in india we go to next question question number 45 bhopal is the capital of which state so we have to tell bhopal is the capital of which state options are bihar manipur madhya pradesh and none of these these are our options so let's find out the correct answer is it bihar bihar is wrong what about manipur manipur is also wrong so let's go to madhya pradesh then now madhya pradesh is the correct answer so remember bhopal is the capital of madhya pradesh 
Next question is question number 46. In which state a king is called as a Ning Tao? So in the uh, story, who will be Ning Tao in English, we talked about that there is a state in India where the king is called as Ning Tao. So let's find out the correct answer. Is it Madhya Pradesh? Madhya Pradesh is wrong. So is it Chhattisgarh? Chhattisgarh is also wrong. So is it Manipur then? Yes, Manipur is the correct answer and in the story, who will be Ning Thao, we heard about it, we talked about it, that in Manipuri language, the king is called as a Ning Thao. So, Manipur will be the correct answer. Here we have Manipur on the map of India. Let's go to the next question, question number 47. So, the question is, what is the name of India's neighboring country shown in the picture? So, we have this. We have to tell the neighboring country of India, which is uh, indicated by the arrow here. So, which neighboring country of India is this? Whether it is Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bhutan or Bangladesh? We have to find out. So, is it Nepal? Yes, it is Nepal. So, Nepal will be the correct answer. The uh, country shown by this arrow, the country indicated by this arrow is Nepal, which is a neighboring country of India. Next, let's go to the next question. Question number 48. What is the name of India's neighboring country shown or indicated by the arrow in this picture? So we have to tell what is the name of this country. Is it Nepal? No, it cannot be Nepal because Nepal we just talked about is on the other side. So Nepal is wrong. So is it Sri Lanka then? Sri Lanka is also wrong. What about Bhutan? No, Bhutan is also wrong. So we are left with Bangladesh. That means this country shown or indicated by this arrow is Bangladesh. So, Bangladesh will be the correct answer. Let's move to the next question, question number 49. So, find out the country whose capital is Beijing. So, let's find out which is the country whose capital is Beijing. So, we all know Nepal, its capital is Kathmandu. So, it is wrong. Is it Sri Lanka? No, Sri Lanka's capital is Colombo. So, what about China? Yes, China will be the correct answer. So, China, China's capital is Beijing. So, China is the country whose capital is Beijing. So, China will be the correct answer. As you can see in your picture, this large yellow area is the country China. Let's go to the next question. This will be the last question for today. Question number 50. The neighboring country of India which has a long border with northeastern states. So, which is the neighboring country? Let's find out. Is it Nepal? No. Nepal is wrong. Is it Sri Lanka? But Sri Lanka is in the south. So, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka again is wrong. Is it Bhutan? No, Bhutan is not having a large border with Indian northeastern states. So, we are left with Myanmar. So, that means Myanmar is the country that is having a large border with the northeastern states of India. So, these are... So, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Do remember to like the video, comment and share it with, with your friends. So you can share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. So thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.